So this is the current situation and I'm not happy with it whatsoever. <sighs> Welcome to my channel. I'm Solari. If you missed my previous video about my setup, it hasn't really changed much, but here is what it looks like right now. I have a Diablo chairs table, two monitors, one little laptop here, a big PC down there, a lot of cords and cables in between, two lights, um, a camera stand, a microphone stand, and a lot of various clutter in between. But the thing is, this setup doesn't work for me anymore. Even though I've moved it a little bit and I love the position where it is right now in the corner, but it doesn't work for me because I spent all my time in front of my computer. I'm a content creator, I'm a content manager for another channel, uh, I am a streamer and uh, my main job is I'm an esports caster. So as you can imagine, all of those activities involve sitting in front of a computer. And when I get any free time whatsoever, I love playing games on top of that. So I'm pretty much literally never leaving this spot. This desk does not work for me anymore for various reasons. One, I'm not happy with the height. And two, I just don't want to be sitting all the time in front of it. And three, actually, I have come to a realization that it is too narrow for me. It is 60 centimeters here and there is a wider spot here where it's 65 centimeters. Uh, lengthwise, it's okay, 140, but I have a new desktop and I have a new desk frame and I'm gonna try to assemble everything today. Hopefully it's going to work out. If not, well, I'm gonna cry a little, I guess. I tried to make this makeover as budget-friendly as possible, not because of my personal constraints, but because I find it a fun challenge to try to follow, especially with the standing desks. Some price tags on those are absurd. And I wanted to see if a cheaper standing desk that I kind of assemble myself is going to deliver what I need from a standing desk. So we'll see about that, but before I can even start assembling anything, I need to disassemble everything from this table. And boy, it's gonna be a challenge, but let's get started. So um, how do I even approach this? Because I have a lot of cables. I think I will start with the lights and just disconnect everything that is not a computer system. And then we'll see how it, how it works out. Let's go. So luckily enough, in this spot, I have two sockets here. I'm already using one of them and it's connected to an adapter. It has the vast majority of all my cords connected to it. And the second one is probably gonna go for the standing desk. How does one accumulate so much stuff on one single table? That is beyond my understanding, honestly. The only issue that I'm having right now is whether or not I have enough length for all of the cords because my PC is going to remain on the floor. It is too heavy, I think, to put it on the table because it's going to be two monitors. And this guy is really heavy, as you can guess by the size. So I really don't want to put uh, a PC on top of that. Plus it's going to take so much space on my table and I don't have a lot of space on it or I will not have a lot of space on it, I think. Which means that all of the cables need to be able to go to my PC even when the desk is standing. And I'm not sure if all of my cables are long enough, but that's something we will tackle later. <laughs> Okay, and now you out of the way. Oh, it's not even happy when nothing is standing on it. That's how far it can go. And that is the space I'm gonna be working with. As for the record, that's 25 kilos. That is the frame, um, the stunning frame. Hello, baby, hi. I'm busy. I'm a little bit busy, baby. Mwah. So this is the stunning frame from Song Mix. So I got it from Amazon. I got it on a sale, so it was pretty cheap. 
And it's just the frame. No desktop. So let me move the box out of the way. And in the way of my dog, so she doesn't come in and distract me. Let's see what we got. Holy shit. That's a lot of stuff if you've ever seen one. Blah! Okay, excuse me, because I need to remove the baby. Is it enough to move it? Oh, it does move! This is the desktop from IKEA. It's IKEA Bekant, which is supposed to be a tabletop for one of their standing desks. But I don't like their standing desks frames, so I bought the tabletop separately in hopes and dreams that it's gonna fit. So far, I only made one mistake. Okay, two mistakes with this one. The first one is when I installed the battery, the cord from the battery that I connected the socket is going in the opposite direction of where I would like it to be. So it's not something that's very inconvenient. The length is still okay. It's just, it could have been smarter, you know? And the other thing is that there is a little hook for the headphones, which I'm not gonna use either way. So it's like not too big of a deal, but I wanted to have it here, like at this corner of the table. Uh, I just know to have it to put some stuff on it and in the end I installed it here So on the very opposite side and I am not gonna reach there for anything obviously But it's gonna be there because why not? So now it's installed. It's working. I don't know why but I was so surprised when it worked I for some reason expected it not to I don't know But now it is on the lowest setting because I will be putting all the stuff on it I'm planning on buying something more fitting lately, but for now, this little genre will do. I want to start with the monitor, with the biggest, no, you know what? No, I'm going to start with the lights because they go behind the table. I want to attach the power extender to the table underneath it because I have some double-sided tape and I also have some sticky things that should work in theory. But we'll see. Welcome to my new updated setup. Wanna have a look? For sure, I am not done with it. 
now that I've assembled the table and have put everything essential on top of it, I know that there are some things I want to add. First one is going to be a better cable management system. I will need to have some way to hide all the cords together because right now below there, there are way too many of them together. I tried to connect as many as possible to the table itself, but some of them are still hanging and some of them still need a lot of help. Now, ideally, I would also love for the main monitor to be a little bit higher because right now it's ever so slightly too low for me. But this will wait because I don't trust this tabletop enough to put a monitor arm for it. Plus, this is an ultra wide monitor, so not every arm will even fit it at all. I will need to come up with a way to store the battery for the monitor. I mean, I have a way. That's where it used to live. It's the tray from the previous table. Uh, a little bit very dusty. It's going to fit to this table, but it will require some more drilling. And by drilling, I mean screwing it in by hand. And I'm not doing any of that again. My whole body hurts after screwing so many screws in. Another thing I want to add is maybe to return this little cup holder to the side of the table. I really like how it was on the previous table. But again, it's just the screwing that I don't want to be doing anymore at the moment. I will need a new table pad, of course, because this one is pretty. And it even kind of suits the whole um, color theme with the pinks and the purples. But I want something wider just, you know, to cover the full table. And maybe something in different color too. I think I will try to get a Bluetooth port for my PC because my current setup doesn't have any Bluetooth installed in it. And I hate how this cord for the keyboard looks. It didn't bother me so much on the black table before, but now on the white one, it is just, it's the only cord that goes so far unless I'm charging my mouse and it's just irritated me so much. So I would love to get rid of it because this keyboard does work with Bluetooth. So that's something I will keep myself busy with. And of course, eventually I will need a new chair for this setup, but this will have to wait for a while because right now I just wanted to focus on the table part. And now it's done and I have my standing desk completed and it was, it was not an easy process, but I managed to do it myself almost. <laughs> I had to call my dad in the process to ask him for help about uh, screwing the little screws into the table. But other than that, I assembled it and I'm so happy. This table is so damn good. This is the maximum height where it goes for, but it is perfect for me. Even could go a little bit lower, to be honest. Like somewhere here, maybe, you know? This way the monitor is a little bit too low, but it's manageable, I guess. I wanted to get just a monitor stand, but there are no monitor stands for my monitor because it's too big for all of them. Look at the three little legs, they are super wide and no stand can support all three of them at the same time. I chose this frame because it is fully programmable. There are four different positions that it can remember. Uh, so right now I have, for example, the maximum position set for number two. So whenever I press number two, it automatically slides to the top position. So I can just, while I'm sitting, press it, go get my coffee and return to the desk already fully standing. I made sure that the table is not standing too close to the windows and to the wall. So this way, nothing stops it from going up and down. When I'll be installing my camera, because I have a little camera stand right there, I will also need to make sure that it's standing a little bit further from the table. Not sure how well it's gonna look on the camera in the end. I will need to uh, figure things out a little bit here. But the most important part is that it doesn't collide with the table because either of the two will die in the process and I'm not ready to accept that. And also the light, like this light is connected to the table. So it's moving together with the table. My main light, my key light is um, standing there on the floor. It can go higher, but I will think if I want it to go higher. Plus if I turn off this light and I keep that light on, it still gives a little bit of light for me. I have a diffuser here, so it's not any harsh light whatsoever. And the main source of the light is behind the monitor. It looks kind of nice, I think. So that is my new setup. Um, I am going to make some more videos about how I organize everything on my table once I've decided how I want everything to look like. And for sure, I will give you a review of the uh, setup, especially the frame once I have tested it for some time because I haven't really seen that many reviews of this uh, frame. It's from Amazon. It's really cheap, especially compared to some uh, brand names out there. And not many people talk about them. It does wobble but it is only slightly 
higher mobile amount than the, my previous desk had, for example. And my previous desk was not a standing desk, it was just a normal sitting desk and a very solid one. So, so far I really like the build. I'm really happy. And I will let you know once I've tested it out a little bit more. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about anything that you see on this table or below this table, but right now I'm not ready to talk about what's below the table. And I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.